that way I don't forget. I'm going to put another one. And see here, I'm going to put this size way down. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going to add a couple little highlights. I don't really care to go into too much detail with the uh, jewelry. As long as I have the basic shape in there, whatever. That's cool enough for me. Okay, so I think all I have now left to do is little touch ups if I wanted to and the balloon tips. Did I just make that line on her face? I have no idea when that happened. And it's not on a separate layer. Oh crap. Ah. Man, I can't believe this. I have no idea how that got in there. Oh well. I'm just going to try to pick the colors next to it and get rid of it. See, now I don't know why this happens sometimes. When I work on a project for a while, like I've been working on this one now, see how it looks kind of grainy? I don't know why it does that. Actually, no, I can do. I was it's almost like it's uh, like it's wet, you know, like it's wet on wet or something. I think it'll be easier for me to correct this in Photoshop. But for now, I'll just somewhat. Pretty much made it disappear actually. It's still sort of there. I can get rid of it, I'm pretty sure, in Photoshop though. Okay. Balloon tips. Use a small brush. Smaller. And I'm going to make the tips of them where they're kind of like that. Let's make sure I get them all. Okay, then I'm going to use this darker shadow color and I'm going to shadow in So I'm going to go through and add uh, shadows to all of these first. 
and I'm going to add the uh, string Actually, you know, slightly bit. Oh, wow, that's where you're huge. I just want a little bit of that balloon under there to show through. Okay, I'm gonna pick a really small brush again. I'm gonna add a few. few lines on some of these like this. Okay, I think that's um, pretty much it. Okay, so hopefully you guys uh, learn something about Coral Painter and how it works. That you wanna, you know, you wanna press the paint on thick first, and then blend it together. There's different methods you can use. You can also use the blender brushes, and those work well. And um, you know. When you're when you're building up your skin tones, that you want to first lay out your colors as like a underpainting, and then start painting over that with your form. And uh, you know, as you see, I had to go through a lot of painting over and over and over, uh, dark slowly darken it up before I finally got something I was happy with. I'm still not really all that happy with their face. It's kind of light still, but that's all right. Maybe I'll go in and work on it a little bit, add a little bit more to it before I post the final image. But yeah, so if you've enjoyed this at all, please rate it and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. If you would like me to cover other subjects, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, do, I'm gonna go a little bit more until my time runs out. I'm just going to add some darkness, maybe a little bit darker, something like that. Oops. That was supposed to remain a hard line. Not like that. Maybe if I kind of add a little darker side to this side. Okay, that's pretty much time's up, so hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, like I said, rate, comment, let me know what you think, and what you'd like to see next, um, you know, with Photoshop or Coral Painter.